Well, hello and welcome to another video. And this one is about what is a UPS. A UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply. Now the concept really is quite simple. You may be sitting at home with a particular device, say a computer, and that will be plugged in to the mains. Now that's all well and good, but what happens if the power goes down? Yep, your computer or device that's connected goes down with it and you lose, potentially, your data. So what about a UPS? That goes in between your device and the grid. Now, if the power goes down, the UPS has batteries that kick in, meaning that your equipment can carry on working. Now, there are two types of main UPS that are in common use. There's offline or standby, and there's line interactive. Offline or standby UPS systems offer surge protection and the battery backup. Line interactive UPS systems offer the same surge protection and battery backup, but also voltage regulation that irons out spikes in your power supply. So I decided to purchase a CyberPower PR1000ELCDRT2U UPS. This is a line interactive system. And let's unbox it. See what you get when you buy one. Now here we have a box. And inside this box is the UPS by CyberPower. It's a PR1000ELCDRT2U. And yes, isn't that a name that rolls off the tongue? So let's uh, now unbox this baby beast. And it says on the side here, on the side, on the top, uh, that it's 31 kilos. According to the specs on the site, the unit is 25 kilos. So I guess that it's 31 kilos uh, in the box, maybe, and 25 kilos when it's sort of actually connected in, I don't know. But whichever way you look at it, that's pretty darn heavy. But you'd expect that because the UPS has uh, has batteries in it, and oh, it looks says here, look, caution, heavy carton. Yeah, no kidding. Right, so let's let's open that. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here. So first of all, look at this, CyberPower, a quality assurance test, terrific, which it has passed, which is good news seeing as they've sold it to me. And next we have a, presumably that's a manual, but it's written in very strange language. So hopefully they've got an English version in there somewhere, but I'll put that on one side for the moment. Now let's see what else we've got here. I, I don't know what that is. I would imagine that's got something to do with the rack mounting. They're pretty heavy weighty, uh, brackets here. Yeah, that's got something to do with the rack mounting, I would have thought. Let's put those down on one side. Uh, next, we have another another packet with some bits in. I'll actually open this one up, I think. And... Right, oh, there's all sorts of cables and things in here. So, let's see what we've got. So, we have... Ah, oh, now there's different ways that you can connect this UPS in to monitor what it's doing. And I think that's probably what these different cables are for because I know that you can connect via USB. I'll be connecting this UPS to my Synology disk station so that it, the, the UPS can tell my disk station when to shut down. But you can connect the device into a computer as well if you want to, to get it to tell your computer to shut down. Uh, so there's all sorts of cables in here to do with all the different sorts of connections you may want to do. I think that is literally for the communication. I will only be using USB for that. But it's good that it comes with all the necessary cables that you may need in order to do that. That's a good thing. I'm not going to knock it. Right, let's put that on one side. Next, we have a, another box. Ah, cables. Cables, cables, cables. What have we got here? Lots of cables. Right, okay. And let's have a look. See what we've got. So, here we have... Ah, right, okay. I'm a bit annoyed about this because I, I'm not annoyed. 
I'm not annoyed, I don't get annoyed. But I did buy some, <laughs> some cables and it comes with some. It's got some cables here to connect in this that's that we're connecting to the, the UPS. So where's the camera? Uh, let's let's try and focus in on that. That's a C13, C14 connector. One end, there we are, would go into whatever. So for example, I could use one of these to plug into my NAS, which I fully intend to do. So I did buy a cable unnecessarily not expecting it to actually come with some. So that, that's good. Don't make the same mistake if you buy one of it. And here we have, presumably, that's going to be some more, is it? Same sort of cables? Yeah, it is. So you get four of the, the cables that are suitable for plugging into devices with a standard sort of kettle lead replacement, really, the best way of describing them. You get four of those. That's good. That's really good. I'm impressed with that. So, Let's move this bit of polystyrene. And now, if I've uh, correctly done my uh, weightlifting, I don't weightlift, uh, I'm going to lift the. My um, oh, my goodness, that's heavy. Uh, oh, wow, that weighs a ton. Uh, this is not how to lift. Viewers, don't lift like this. Uh, it's got a very new smell to it. Hang on. I'm going to balance that on the side of the box. There's something else there. It's like Christmas. I'll open that in a minute. And, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that on the floor. Now, it's upside down. Can you see that? Just about. Uh, we have... And uh, we'll have a look. I'll move the camera down actually so that we can have a look at that. So let's have a, a look at the back of the UPS, and you can see there you've got eight sockets all together, and they supply you with four leads, which I think is very, very good. And you can see that these two here on the right hand side are called critical load. So uh, these ones will power down before those ones because you plug in things that are your critical load, fairly obviously. Uh, so that's your input there from your mains power supply. And here are some of the ports that we were talking about, we were talking about, we were looking at with these leads. So the USB, for example, and you've got other very Oh, this here for the in and out is you can put your uh, telephone connection in there to um, for protection for like surge protection and what have you and there's a nice BT fan on that side so that's the back of the PR1000 Cyberpower 2U rack now they do do a 1U version of this and I think it has four sockets on the back rather than the eight might be more I can't remember don't quote me on that this is the front of the Cyberpower PR1000 rack and there's not much on the front, there's just the power button there, on off. There is a screen as well. Now incidentally this screen is quite clever because it can come out and be rotated 90 degrees and then you can use this rack uh, in a vertical position rather than the horizontal position that you would have in a, in a rack. So it's perfect then for home use, just sat on the side or behind a rack if you haven't got any room in, inside the rack, it, that would work. I will be rack mounting this, I will be putting it in the rack. So uh, I will keep the, the screen there in the position that it's in at the moment, in the horizontal position. But that's the front of the CyberPower PR1000. So next we have another box here and I'm just going to try not to stab myself too much with the scissors I open that I should have got a knife for this instead of getting scissors now we've got, out, what we've got here ah, mounting brackets and screws oh now you know what I think this might slide let's have a look Oh, it's adjustable, I see. Yeah, 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 okay. That is adjustable, so you can unscrew that and adjust. Let me see now, what's on the 
camera here. So we've got some screws on the top here, which will loosen that, and then you can actually adjust this, uh, this mounting bracket here, which looks quite sturdy. Oh, I see, I imagine that actually, looking about it, this goes um, on the rail at the back for it to sit on, which is good because I was thinking about buying a clamp bar to, to, for it to sit on, but it just realized that if you're just gonna put it in and attach it to the front of your rack, it will bend it. So you put this on and it can sit on the back of it, but it will actually adjust perfectly to fit your particular rack. Mine's a standard 19 inch, so that's good. That's good as well. They give you a lot of stuff with this, I'm impressed. And let's have a look. I presume that this one is there for decoration. It won't come out. There we go. So that's another one. So what do you do? Do you put one at the front and one at the back? No, you wouldn't do that, would you? I don't know. Do you know what? I might have to actually read the instructions, viewers. Instructions are for wimps. It's much more fun putting things in and not having a clue what you're doing. So let's put that back in there. Let's put those screws back in there as well. Yeah, that's great. Now, incidentally, I must mention at this point that this is literally just an unboxing video and uh, I will be using this item, adding this item into my new rack. And at that point, you will see me wrestling with all these bits and pieces. So we're literally just unboxing today. But I think that's everything that comes in the box. Uh, and you get all sorts with it, that's very good. Mm -hmm.